Okay, let's talk tuna guns. When I start off tuna fishing, what I do is go to Terrafin or whatever to find the hot water spot. Then I'll write that Latin lawn down. And when I leave port, I put a go-to to that and I run as fast as the ocean will let me. When I see 57 degrees, I take two of these, which are a stout rod, and I put a jig out 300 to 350 feet behind the boat. Lock it down, put a dog leash on it, and then go back to running whatever speed the ocean will let me run. When you find the fish, those poles will go off and they'll be big fish. As soon as they hit, I slow the boat to four miles an hour. I start, I put, if there's people in the boat with me, I put them cranking on those two fish. And I take this set of rods and this set of rods, which are 12 to 30 pound rods. And I get jigs in them and get them back there and set a pattern up. And this is important on all my rods. If you notice, it's on all of them. When I'm trolling, I used to wrap a dog leash around here and it got to where it was too hard to untangle. So I put these on and I can clip and unclip. So if the rod holder gives or somebody slips, that rod ain't going overboard till they firmly have it in their hand and they can just unclip it. This is a 15 to 40, a 12 to 40 rod, if you can read that. And I really like them. It's just a Trident Cheapo. I've got six of them. I've got five of the Wasabis. I've been using this rod for, and these cheap ass Akuma reels for nine years. <clears throat> and I've only had one rod break. And that was because the fish didn't want to come in the boat. I use four of these pin two speeds. One we're really, really in them. I'll put them two on each side short so that the guys can just put them in, high, in low and crank that fish right to the boat. All you have to do to convert from trolling to bait fish is get a double or a triple. When you, let's go back a little bit. When, when I'm running my long poles and I, my boat's fast from 25 to 35 miles an hour and I hit fish, between when I go to pull the throttle off, I mark a way spot, a waypoint. And then I put this gear out while they're cranking these in because as they crank those in, they bring the school to the boat and all your other rods are going to start going off your in them. If you want to convert from trolling to bait fish, it's simple. You know the areas you've been trolling. You get a double, a triple, or four-way hookup. Just reach over and turn the key off. Put your guys on those rods. Throw a handful of live bait or dead bait in the water. Get your light live bait rods out. And I've got halibut gear on this right now. But that's just a 30 pound floral carbon with a number three salmon hook. And I'll collar hook a herring or sardine or whatever I got and flip him out there, open a bale, put it in a rack and get another one out. Get three or four of them going. And it doesn't take long. As long as you don't lose a fish, you're in them. If, if you have two on and lose one, you're still going to be in them. But if you only have one on and you lose them, he'll take the herd of, he'll take the whole school of tuna with him when he runs. I also use really, really light poles. This is the tip of this pole. And I cut it off, put a new handle, and 
I want that long handle so when that tuna hooks up, that goes in my armpit. And I can use the backbone of the rod instead of the tip low for the tuna. And this pole here is just a real kick in the butt. I bought this at uh, the Bites on Tackle. It's a, a, a 2 to 12 pound rod. And I caught a bunch of tuna on it. And it's tough as nails. Now I did modify this pole. I cut the old handle off and put my new ferrule on and so that it'll go under my arm but the original pole up there which i have a spare of is awesome let's talk gear these are the birdies that i made because the ones i saw were too expensive well somebody on facebook showed me where you can get these for 20 bucks a piece and this is a Awesome. You can watch my videos. These are red hot. These you can buy a Boone tuna teaser. We can get five of these birdies in a daisy chain, cut them apart, and use them for individual birdies. And there they work good also. I prefer the zucchini. And one, one thing that's important, whatever you're running in there, it could be purple cedar, plain cedar, zucchini, pink, doesn't matter. But whatever you're running, make sure they're all the same because the bait schools don't run together and tuna aren't stupid. The, on the hand lines, I use a regular standard two-prong stainless hook. But on every fishing rod that I'm trolling, I use a number 10 treble hook, barbed. When he hits that, the only downside is, is that they corrode. So every season, I got to cut that off and put a fresh one on. When they hit this, they're stuck. You got them. All of these various jigs are awesome when you're throwing iron. So you got some guys that want to run bait and some guys that want to run iron. Iron does not affect your live bait fishing. You can go deep in a hurry with these and bring the fish up. But if you've already got them on the top, it's silly to throw bait iron to get them to the top. And these cheapo P-Line laser minnows are awesome. Just put a set of assist hooks on them, and they're killer. You can when when you can't get those tuna to come up, you can put these Yuzuris on. They'll run 30 feet deep up to 17, 18 miles an hour, and they're killer. But again, if that's what you're running, run them all. Don't have uh, jigs running on the surface and these running underneath. Give them, don't give them a choice. Target them where they're at. Yes, you can get some on your top water gear while you're running these, but it's not as good as if you're all running the same, whether it's on down or whether it's on top. And you can also, when you see them jumping and on the surface, you can just put this good old bottom fish and rubber fish on, fling it out there as far as you want, and let it swim down, and man, it, they're killer. Just make sure you got, you know, not too big of a lead, but a big hook. Um, that's pretty much it. If I think anything else, I'll make another video. If it helped you, yay. If you already knew it, yay. I didn't invent any of this stuff. I just learned it, and I'm sharing it. So there you go.